Hey guys, Xiao Jilao here. Today we are going to upgrade new 5015 blower for part cooling. This is overhand stress test up to upgrade. Let's compare some before and after. They are using exactly the same G code to print. You can tell it's a lot better with overhand. However, this design is far away from perfect. There are many issues at this point. The biggest one is, after install this upgrade kit, you are gonna lose around 6mm on the left side of the x-axis and 10mm around right side of the x-axis. And the sensor homing will be triggered by the bolt mount on the back instead of the entire extruder head. So you will need to adjust the sensor's homing sensitive level to make it not flaming too hard. At the same time, the Do 5015 roar is very very loud. Also, the direction of wind blows still not perfect yet. There are not a lot of airflow behind the nozzle. But this could be fixed by upgrade head design. And because this is a modular design, when you want to replace the hair dot, you just need to replace the head part. You don't even need to take entire things off. You can just you can just loosen those two bolts and put a new air dot on and lock it tight and you are ready to go. At the same time I'll continue to upgrade this model and I'm open to any suggestions or comments. This design process is not easy. It takes many days to developing and testing, and a lot of filming will waste doing a process, which I already have direction of next big improvement. But at this point, I don't suggest to upgrade this model if you are a beginner. All right, enough talking. Let's head to the instruction. All right, let's talk about all the tools you need first. You will need the tool come with a printer, wire stripping tool. If you don't have that, you could use the utility knife, it will do a job, but a lot slower. This type of wire insulator would make work a lot easier and nicer, but electrical tape will do the job. Now here's the parts that we need. We need M3 times 25mm bolt, two of them, two of M3 20mm bolt. 2 M4 25mm bolt 2 M3 hex nut and 2 M4 hex nut You could use this type of bolt, but I don't really recommend this. It's very easy to run the during the process. Socket cap screw it's recommend. You can pick it from Home Depot 3 for little over $1. You also will need this two part, which I have a link attached on the description below. So you could download for free. You will also need two 5015 blower. You will notice that their connector for 5015 were not fitted um, as free 06 stock connector. So we will need to do some wiring during the process. I also recommend you to purchase this 1.25 millimeter connector so you don't need to cut their stock 4010 blower cable off so just in case if you don't like the upgrade you could always pull original back on step one put m325 millimeter on top of the holder this two bolt is used to hold entire things on the back of the extruder plate Now insert the M320mm from the bottom to the hole, all the way through to the front. You will need to put M3 nut 
within this head socket. I designed this one to be very tight fit. You might need to use a hammer. Continue working on M3 20mm bolt. Make sure these two parts are locking tight without any air gap in between. Now we can insert 5015 blower. Align the bolt parents on top of a blower with the part. Insert and full knot. Continue tightening until it's fully locked. Now let's put another blower on it as well. Repeat the same procedures. Alright, the upgrade part is ready to go. Now let's do the wiring. Now I don't put a bolt on these bottom two holes, because I think it's locking very tight. But it's your choice if you want to put it on. As I mentioned earlier, it's a lot easier if you have a wire stripper, but you could also work with a utility knife. It just, it's just a lot harder and slower. If you have a soldering tool, you can use that. But if you have it, you probably wouldn't need instruction here to show you how to work on it. So let's just skip this part. Now bring the both wires around the side, measure the length that you need. Make sure you leave some extra before you cut in the wire. Now if you are not familiar with the wiring, you can cut some of the exceed part and do some plotters on it. Now I'm gonna show you how to do it with the utility knife. If you don't feel comfortable, be sure you use those exceed part to do multiple plotters until you're working on the actual part. As you notice, the red color wires and black color wires are bound together. The red wire is hot wire and the black one is ground, but you can call it negative. Now use a little clipper to cut it apart. Now we can use the utility knife to slowly peeling the insulator off. Be sure you are patient with it, sometimes you will cut the wires off. When you can see some wires explode from the insulator, now you can use your nail to peel it out. Now let's back to the part. The procedure is very similar. We need to cut the insulator and get the wire out from the insulator and connect the red wire with red wire, black wire with black wire. So that way they could stay in parallel and share the 24 volt. Now the wire is very thin, just take your time and do it slowly. Make sure you tighten them really well, that they will not come off very easily.
All right. After this one, we can start working on the connector part. As I mentioned earlier, I recommend you to purchase the separate 1.25 millimeter connector. That way, you don't need to cut the original wires off. But here, I don't have that in hand, so I'm just gonna cut the original one off and showing you how to link them together. Now it's very similar procedure this time. Connect the red wires with the red wires and black wire with the black wires. When you're done with wiring, you can use electrical tape to fully cover it. Or if you have this type of insulator, it will be a lot easier to work. All right, now we get everything done here. Before we install the new upgrade kit, we need to take off the original part cooling fan. You can see here, the fan down from the original fan is slightly melt because it's too close to the nozzle. Remove the two bolt on the back of the insulator holder. Before you attach upgrade bower, you will need to connect the cable first. Now we can put the upgrade bower on. Now let's do a quick comparison. All these models are printed with exactly the same Jico. The left hand side is before upgrade and the right hand side is after upgrade. You can see the three groups of overhand tests all have some improvement. But the spring test didn't make any big change. It looks very identical to me. However, when I change the orientation of the spring, the result is totally different. The direction of airflow is still not a perfect condition. It's supposed to be around the nozzle and give 360 degrees of cooling evenly. And I will continue focus and upgrade this part. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.